All right, this is Daryl. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and my videos on the $75,000 a year Instacart shopper challenge. Can an old guy, can an old geezer like me make $75,000 a year plus just rolling around the grocery stores? I don't know. Anyway, I'm showing you my weekly results. This is about week five or week six, I think. And you go to my channel, you can see the results for each week. It's basically the same thing. It's approximately 1,500 uh, per week. So how do you get the highest pay on Instacart? There's only one way that I know how to do it, and you have to follow two simple rules. You have to uh, only take batches where you make $1 or more per item. Okay, and you have to work the same six or seven stores till you know those stores so good you can get in and out real quick. There's a timer down at the bottom of your batch. If you know the store, you can get in and out of there 15, 20 minutes before the timer. And that's how you have to do small batches, a lot of them get in and out quick. But I'm gonna show you the results for the week. But before I do, could you please subscribe to the channel? I'd really appreciate it. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each week when and you can see the results. Um, nobody's doing this. Nobody's showing their weekly results on a consistent basis. They might show one week, but they're not showing it on a consistent basis and showing you the batches they took and the tips that they made. And so I'm gonna give it to you in the same format, but please, if you could subscribe, it would really help me out. It'd give me time to do the videos because I have a daughter. I spend Sundays with her. I'm not giving up that time for anything. And so, I take Mondays off to do these videos. I could do Instacart seven days a week. It's it's simple, it's an easy job. Even for an old guy like me, I'm almost 60 years old. So please subscribe. Anyway, I'm gonna give you the results in the same way I always do. I'm gonna give you the daily results, the hour, which will include the hours that I was active in the grocery store to, from swipe to delivery, right? And then I'll give you the batches for that day so I'll give you all the day's results and batches. And then at the end, I'll give you the tips that were made after the delivery through the app, not the cash tips. I do get cash tips, but not that much anymore. I got like $20 this week from a, from a repeat customer. And as always, I'll play a little guitar for you just uh, because I want to. <laughs> uh, if you have a song you want to hear, I'll learn it on guitar and play it behind you. All right, so if you want to really know how to get the higher pay on Instacart, stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to show you a trick that's going to help you understand kind of how Instacart's algorithm spits out the batches. And nobody knows for sure, and, and it's, it's always going to be random, but I'm going to give you a tip, so stick around to the end. Uh, but right now, let's get to the results. I'm going to play a little guitar. Hit it. All right, so let's get right into it. You can see uh, it was a slow week, and it was really not a good week for batches. To tell you the truth, slowest week I've had in a while. I took Monday off as usual. Tuesday, my daughter had a basketball game, so I had to cut that day short. And then Sunday, I spend the day with my daughter. So I cut that day short. Here's Monday. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, this is Tuesday. And you can see I only did two batches. Um, made 80 bucks. So, you know, here is Wednesday. Wednesday was tough. I mean, I was out there seven hours. I didn't even crack 200. Look at the tips over the batch earnings. Not even, I had to break the rule and go under a dollar per and look at the batches. You know, they're, they're normal kind of average batches, but they weren't good tippers. You know, they weren't good tippers. When you do eight batches, you should kind of come out at the end of the day with $250, I think. So, or, or you know, 225, 250. Here's another bad day. I still did good with tips over batch earnings. It was a little more than a dollar per, um, but I had to do nine batches to get to 226. Look, you can do it with small batches. You can do it with small batches. I'm telling you, you just have to follow the rule. There's two rules that you have to follow. Look at the batches. These are small batches, but they're stores that I can get in and out and do a $16 order and have it fully delivered. There's a 59. That was cool. That one took about an hour between the swipe and the delivery. But the little batches, I can get in and out of these stores because I work the diamond mine. Remember, we talked about that. You work the same six or seven stores. Do you know the stores better than the employees? And you can do a $16 batch from swipe to delivery in probably about 20 minutes. In and out of the store in five, 10 minutes, delivery uh, 
not far. I'm telling you, that's we're concentrating on hourly wage, okay? Here's Friday's batches. Here's Saturday. Saturday was okay, um, 266, and I was in the store seven hours from you know from swipe to delivery. But I was out, and it took you know I didn't even get a batch till eight, and I was out early that day. Lately, the early shift, uh, the road less traveled on the early shift has not been that great, but there's been some. Um, but that day, I, I got some nice batches on Saturday and ended up with 266.76. So let's go on to Sunday, and you'll see that I, you know, I always spend the day with my daughter, so I like to work in the morning because she's 12. She gets up at 11, 12 o'clock. That's what teenagers, preteens do. So I take the advantage and uh, work it. So there's from 7.30, you know, and I take small batches. Look, I was still able to make 121 for the day, 121.44. So you can do it. You just have to find the time to do it. And if you, you know, follow the rule, $1 or more per item and use a diamond mine of stores, you, you do it efficiently and it's all about the hourly rate. You're gonna make the hourly rate that you want and it's gonna increase your star rating by quickly dropping off the bad ratings. That's very important. If you get a bad rating, do a bunch of small ones. Just be a dollar or more per item. That's what's going to maintain the same rate of income on the small batches. So here's that little tip I was gonna tell you about. This is real important and it's not easy to do if you're an introvert, okay? but it's gonna help you. Um, you need to talk to other Instacarters. When you see them, just be very, very friendly and just say, hey, Instacart, how you doing? And usually the person's gonna look up at you and you just be standing there with a smile like, hey man, how you doing? I, you doing Instacart too? And they're always gonna be friendly. And they're like, yeah, and then, then you can get into a conversation. Hey man, how's it been for you? Has it been slow? You, you seeing the batches? You know, like, and then you, you're gonna talk shop. And when you start talking shop, you're gonna find out someone's ratings, maybe some stuff they're doing right, some stuff they're doing wrong. You're gonna catch some some BSers. A lot of BSers say they make more than they really do, but, but it doesn't matter. You know where they're at. Oh man, you only take Costco? Oh man, great. I don't say anything. I say, I take them all, man. I, lo I love doing Instacart. You know, it's a fun job. You know, I, I, it keeps me active. I love it. Talk to other Instacarters. Sometimes when you're sitting there talking to them, you'll see the batches come through the queue. Sometimes they get to you first. Sometimes they get to that person first. So you kind of learn about the batch distribution, how it goes. Phone service is different. They're on AT&T. I'm on Verizon. They're on Sprint. Who knows how, how it works? Why somebody got it a second before me? Who cares? It doesn't matter. There's enough for everybody. And if you do good, it's a collective effort. If we all do good, more batches come in. Um, because Instacart has competition. Uber Eats does shop and deliver. There's a bunch of apps that do it. Anyway, when you talk to these other Instacarters, another thing, the younger guys, they inspire me. I'm an old guy, man. I'm trying to keep up with them, okay? I want to get out there too, you know? I'm out there too. But, it, but in my head, they have to keep up with me because I have more experience at customer service. I'm just telling you that w what I am observing when you talk to other Instacarters. Plus you might make a friend. There's a lot, everybody's pretty nice. You know, just talk to people. Most are standoffish until you say something, okay? It'll give you an idea about how Instacart's dishing out the batches, the algorithm of it, what people are saying. Yeah, and I was sitting over here and I got a batch from over here. It's just a good thing to See what they're after. You know, sometimes, you know, they'll open up to you and say, yeah, man, I try to make this much per day. I try to make this much per day. And then you see them every day and pretty pretty much all of you are making the same thing. All the hustlers are making about 300 a day. Uh, on bad days, we're making 200, 180. On regular days, we're making 250, 275. That's just the way it is. Anyway, good luck to everybody. And uh, don't ever forget, it's a collective effort. So... I'm going to hit you with a rock lick before we go, all right? Hit me with that rock lick. Yeah, go ahead.
All right, let's take a look at the totals. The total for this week was 1409.47, and I did take two and a half days off this week. I was fortunate enough to get to the 1400, uh, close to my $1,500 a week goal. And it's only because I followed the two rules of thumb, which is uh, take batches where you make $1 or more per item and work your diamond mine, the same six or seven stores so you, you can get in and out as efficiently and quickly as possible. Anyway, I got to ask you, please subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. Uh, hit the notification bell and I will see you tomorrow morning.